Today I'm starting a two-part series on doing a character animation. So in this part, I'm going to draw the character, and I'm doing it slowly and explaining everything I do as I go along. So if you're not super familiar with vector path editing and stuff, you can follow this. I explain all the details, I explain all the keyboard shortcuts I'm using, and I draw this character. And then tomorrow, I'll show you how I add some behaviors to bring this character to life with animation and interactions. Remember, I post new videos every day and I'm looking for suggestions of new videos to make, so leave those in the comments. Today I'm gonna to have a little fun drawing a amoeba starfish type character. And I'm gonna start by inserting a circle. I'm gonna hold shift to make it a perfect circle. Put that in the middle of my screen and let's choose a nice color for this. Okay, that'll work. And now what I want to do is like extend some little arms for this character. So I'm going to double click the circle to get into vector edit mode. And if you click along a path, you can add a point to it. If you hold command, it'll ensure that that point goes in between the two other points. So that's the exact center there. So I'm going to hold command and click in between all the points. So I have twice as many points now, and then I'll extend these ones out. And I'm gonna place these kind of at random because I want this to be kind of an organic character. And let's see how that looks. Now I think I can like bring these in a little bit, maybe smooth these out by pulling the handles apart because they kind of come to a point. And if I pull these handles apart, it smooths that over a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Make this a little more extreme. Smooth that out a little more. And that looks fairly organic. Now I want to draw a little happy face in the middle of this. So I'm going to draw another circle. I'm going to press O for oval, hold shift to constrain it to be a circle. And let's change the color of this. I'm just going to kind of play around until I find something I like. Now I'm going to hold option and drag that circle to duplicate it. And if I hold shift, that will ensure that it stays along the X axis. And now I want to give this a mouth. I'm going to draw another oval. So I hit O, shift, drag. And I want to make this the same color as those eyes. So I'm going to select one of the eyes. So I'm going to select one of the eyes and press Command Option C. That's copy style. And then I'll do Command Option V on the other circle and that pastes it in. So now I've got the same color on all of these. And I think the eyes are a little too big. I'm going to hold Shift and click each of the eyes scale those down a little bit. I'm holding Option and Shift to scale to the center of the selection, and Shift ensures that I don't distort the shapes. I'm going to bring the mouth up here, and I'm going to zoom in, holding Z and clicking, and I'm going to delete this top point. So I'm double-clicking here to get into vector edit mode, selecting the top point of the shape, and pressing Delete. Now if I, if I drag the handle of one of these corner points, you can see how that uh, both the handles move the same way. And that's because the point type up here under vector properties is set to mirrored. I want to have this be kind of a sharp corner. So you can change the point type to disconnected, but there's kind of a shortcut to do this. If you hold option and drag the handle, it automatically becomes disconnected. So I'll do that on the other one. And now I've got kind of a happy face shape. I'm going to double click on that circle again, or what was a circle, now a half circle. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I held command and click on this line here to insert a point in between these two points, because I want to be able to animate this, this point. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that later. All right, let's make this guy look extra cute by just getting those eyes into the right position. That looks cool. I'm going to hold shift and click on each of these layers of the face. And I don't quite like the color, so I'm going to fiddle with that a little bit more. Okay, I like that better. Okay, I'm going to cut it off there. And tomorrow, I'm going to add three behaviors. It's going to be a combination of three behaviors that's going to bring this little character to life by moving it, having the color of it change, and allowing you to click on the guy to have his face change. So it'll be really fun stuff, kind of a non-traditional use of Flinto. Watch for all that tomorrow.